recording right now. Okay. Alright. That was a very good match you had with Pete, by the way. Oh, thank you, man. Alright, so... Back in my element. That's it. Uh, two... Okay. Alright, this is good. Now you play Marky Fresh. Okay. They're still doing their thing. While they're while they're finishing up, he's power shuffling. I gotta go just use the bathroom real quick. Okay, oh, they start up? Yeah, they started up. Okay, oh, so we got Greymon versus... I'm curious to know, is it gonna be, uh... Yeah, if it's gonna either be Toolboxy or we can see some of the new Gaiomon stuff. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Toolboxy, because that new Gaiomon doesn't feel like it's it, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, it's definitely, uh... It's, it's an OK, o, OTK kind of deck, um, but... It's more of a for fun deck, for sure. It's not. It, I don't think it's gonna be very good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yeah, we got Mom playing. Of course, we try. Yeah, Lewis is playing. Uh, uh, he actually won his all his matches against Greymon over the weekend. I think he played uh, two, but he still won both of them. So nice. He's well hurst in this. Biased, but I love to hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, Greymon is miserable, man. I'm telling you. Oh. Greymon has a great a great start right here. This is not going to be fun. Oh, X antibody. Oh, but he didn't get the tie, so that's good. Or, you know, fortunate for the all force player. For sure. For sure. Uh, but he already built up to his level 5 in the pack, so. Yeah. He has one more out. He's kind of primed to get it going. I guess it all comes down to does he have the Greymon? Oh my god, he's he's just going off. Now he's gonna do the Metal Greymon X, that's what he grabbed. What the first Oh, he's the normal one at least, not the not the golden boy. Right. Oh god, is he gonna be able to get two damage off of this turn too? The strong star, man. Oh god, this is Okay, go to zero. Yep. Now this is the question: Does he just go into Metal X? Oh God! Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh but my! But he risks hitting the Tamer, right? Listen, at this point, if I hit the Tamer, I'll end with Hades Force because the All Force can't bounce you, and he's gonna be missing Tamer if he hits two of them, though. He risks hitting like a Davis and another Tamer, and then the All Force could kind of make a comeback. He could go into All Force, attempt to bounce, he'll strip. And then he can go into all force V and just remove the whole stack. No, he can't because um, that that this Greymon has double protection. It's gonna have triple protection actually if he goes into Omega. Oh, you're right. You're right. I see. He has the Yagamon. Oh, there's Davis. Oh God, he's called it. Oh my God, that's so sick. Okay, he gets the random on. That's good. Oh, Jerry. Second Does he have the Leo okay. mod? Does he have a Leo? He evolved into Leo in that stack, so. Does he have the Leo? Does he, he have the Leo? Day. He does not have the Leo. That hurts. If that was in different order, I think that would have been better for him because he could have drew the 1v mon and then 
the Davis would have gotten one card deeper, but we'll see. Does he just go into Black War Greymon and just end the? And that's yeah, that's exactly what that's exactly what I I would do. I would absolutely do that because now, but see, but this is dangerous now. He risked it because. Yeah, see, exactly. Now now it doesn't matter because now all force is going to try to bounce it. If he can drop two tamers, and he cannot. Oh, that sucks. Because if he was able to drop two tamers, he could have uh, attempted to bounce, and he, he, he'll he lose a thousand. Right. So, and then he'll try to bounce it again, and then he does all force. Now, he should be able to run it over, no problem. But it seems like he didn't get that, so this is... This is not looking like a good game. Oh, okay. This, I mean, this could be a bait out, honestly. Like, he might have Black War Greymon. Right. So it might not matter. Um, the Hades definitely paid off. Uh, he really didn't lose much by doing that now. Yeah, I mean, do what you can. I mean, this is gonna, this is gonna rough. This is rough. If he gets Black War Greymon, uh, right. that's well, kind of it. He can raid into that as well. No, he can't raid into it. No, if he gets the, uh, if he goes into the other Greymon. Oh, yeah, Greymon. yeah, yeah, he could raid into that too. Yeah, that also hurts too. Yeah, if he's playing the Toolbox variant, he can, he has raid live as well. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, he actually doesn't have the memory to go into the raid. No, he does. He's, it's two and then the tie. Does he? How would it be two? Because the Raid War Greymon only costs three. Oh, you're right. Absolutely right. It, over Metal Greymon and Nang. Yep. Oh, that card is so sick. <laughs> Every all these cards are so sick. <laughs> Black War Greymon? No, he's going. Uh, Guilemon. That's interesting. Okay, I don't. And that's two checks. Yeah. So you're gonna eat that. Oh, that, that's... This you is... You have the reboot blocker, yeah. Oh, you got the arena. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, the old force? No, you're 15. He's You're going to eat that. Like, he's going to be chilling. And then he reboots. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. That's a blocker. That's 15. I don't know how you beat this now. Layer, three layers of protection. Yeah. Okay, that's not the card I would want, but, you know, whatever. I don't know what card I would want here, honestly. I don't know what card he could want, right? Like, Yeah, I'm trying to think of a situation that he can bail out from this, and I'm not saying that. Because even if you want to try to just go for security and try to OTK him, you got to get through that 15k blocker. Yeah. If he can somehow get rid of it, and, uh, yeah, that's bounce. One protection. Like, the Greymon player got the perfect stack. Like... Absolutely. The nope. 80s early game. Yeah. The only thing he was missing was the EX one. Uh, I was always getting rid of the rookies. I didn't care about the DP. Right. Like I, piercing was always the thing I wanted because that's how now you that's how you get rid of evade too. Not not sorry. That's not how you get rid of evade, but that also helps with like things like that. Also, if he plays a Leomon, Leomon is the one that can get him out of here. If he was able to get it, then make him pass turn. You know. Absolutely. Yeah, he evolved into it early in the back, and it seemed like it was his only level four at the time, which is unfortunate. Yeah. And if I, I really like it for those situations where you check in uh, Jiri and security. Uh, oh, sick! Oh my god, this is <laughs> this is clearly his game. Yeah. Okay. Sure. God, security is so stacked. What is this? Uh, that's just uh, that's a game one. You just gotta shake off, man. Ah, no, he got everything. There's no winning this. I mean, if he could come back, if he could get rid of the Guilemon, I'll be happy. Uh, like that, that's enough accomplishment alone, you know. For sure. Okay, Jerry. Okay. Put the Leomon. Okay. okay. Signs of life. He has a way to protect the old force for a turn. Yeah. Uh, since, since it's already a level six, you know, he doesn't have to worry about Guile D digivolving it. 
Interesting. Why did you stop to block that one? I don't understand why he stopped to block that one. Okay, he went into random on. Okay, get the jamming. Okay. He's going to get the Gobble to play the tamer. To get a tamer. Oh, if he would have gotten the ice wall too, I mean, that would have helped, but. Jamming. Okay, jamming coming through. Oh, this is actually not a bad thing. If if he could end his turn with another Leomon, I think he's okay. Right, the Leomon's going to uh, take the hit from the Gaiomon, and that on, on suspend. Oh, he's on suspending now. Yeah, okay. I think he needed the I think he needed another Leomon. Cuz the Leomon would have forced him to pass turn. Right. And then you try to get one rid of one protection or you just bounce the other Greymon. That's what I would do, honestly. Give up on the Gaiomon and just bounce the And then just uh just get rid of the the Yeah, which is not, it's not, it's fine for, um, oh my god, he drew oh, another X anti body. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter now. He's gotta go to four now. Yeah. Yeah, it may not matter. Especially, oh, if he plays the, the BT8 Metal Greymon, the one that did Digivolve, it's kind of over. I, I didn't want to speak it into existence, because I'm like, that would just be... I mean, listen, so he's gotten everything else, right? That would be so bleak. I feel if like Lewis survives this turn, he has a chance. Cause on, uh, he'll try to he'll try to bounce the guy again, strip two sources, and if he goes into all four sex, he can get rid of that stat. Yeah. So now I'm curious. And now he's gonna blow up the Randomon, the Lanamon. Oh, he blows the Leomon. Interesting. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, honestly, this is still an okay position for Lewis because either he goes for game or he tries to clear the board, right? And now that's a weird thing. I would swing with uh, with Gaiomon, right? Get the Jerry, yeah. Get the one. That's fine. And then you now he has to swim for game with the Alterius, Alterius mode. What's the chances he goes into another Gaia? Honestly, he might not need to go into another Gaia, right? He just needs to go into, like, a Metal Greymon or something like that. Like, the Metal Greymon X. And then I think it's bigger, right? Now, because All Force is only, what, 12, 11? He's, he's 12. Okay. okay that's Blow up the Lanamon. Yep. And he, he, we already know he drew two X antibodies for the for the turn. So, right. this is where that uh, that DP boosting egg may come into handy. Well, I mean, honestly, it doesn't it doesn't matter because like I would literally just go because how big is he now? He's got the X antibody in hand. I honestly would have just like because he's uh what is he? He's ten, uh sorry nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve. The all force is twelve. Just swing and block and then Hades force. Oh god, he plays that oh. one. Thirteen or more. Yeah, he did digivolves and blitz for game. So he is playing Gaiomon, bro. Like I was saying earlier. Yeah, but no, but Reyna gives a Digimon blocker, not the All Force Vmon. All four sex is 12, 12 costs, right? Oh, uh, I don't actually know. They're both 12, I think. Is that usually X, Digimon, or 13, right? Uh, I have no idea. Let's look it up right now real quick. Well, I'm guessing it's 12 since we're going through this process here. Yeah. 
he's gonna block. He's gonna lose that stack. And that's okay. Uh, uh, all fours goes up to seven. Yeah, I mean he has two uh, two big blockers, and there's no way to hybrid it out either. Yeah. Lewis is gonna go to six. He could get three hybrids, but it still won't be enough. Um, all fours. Oh, this is a BT thirteen one. My bad. Uh, no, no they're both okay. they're both twelve. They're both twelve. Yeah, they're both twelve. Cool. So yeah, no, it, it happened exactly as it should. Yeah. Now uh, the question is, is, he playing full guy unlock? Because we've seen two guy unlocks and we've seen a new guy unlock. So I'm I'm leaning towards yes, but I'm wondering if he's playing a one off black or gray mon because that's how I'm running that specific deck. I mean, it may not matter. He didn't get a blue memory boost. If he got a blue memory boost, I think it'd be okay. But this is this is not it. Yeah, he has no way to get into those two blockers. And he can't be bigger than either one of them. I think they're both at like 15 or something like that. Yeah, they both got at least 14 with the tie. And I believe the one on the right has the Agumon that gives the all turns 1,000, so... Okay, he's gonna gain all that memory back. And it's got jamming, so that's good at least. Okay, that's nice. Okay, he plays a Leomon. That saves him. That's two Leomon he... No, three Leomon he's used. The one for Digivolving and then the one for... The one he played last turn and then now this one. So he has two active blockers. Now. Okay, so yeah, at this point, yeah, just try to get rid of... Yeah. He's at his last... Uh... Protection, but it doesn't... Like... And if I remember correctly, the All Force player was telling me that he only plays one X antibody one old four sex and he hit it in security so then that, that's that's that okay oh wait what's happening okay tap that does he get the does he get the draw the dp buff okay i guess it doesn't matter which one right the dp buff still won't be enough to get over those no he needed multiple of those Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Honestly, this isn't a bad thing if uh, if he can somehow run over the guy on. Oh, he passed turn. Okay. Passed turn too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he has two active blockers right now. And then one has uh, one has evade, so that's okay. So yeah, so if you block with the all force Vmon, like the all force next turn will unsuspend if he evades. And bounce one of the Guilemons, but oh no, he still has a Greymon layer protection gene. Yeah, so that's the issue with that. But it's fine because if he can get rid of one of the Guilemons, because now the Guilemons are going to be like a normal threshold, right? They're going to be like 13 or something like that. Yeah, give both 13. So they're 13. That one's 14. No, this is fine. He can run over that Guilemon next turn. He does have two ties, yeah. So now swing, draw the two cards. Um block yep put him to put him to zero yep, zero, yep. Get a draw. Let's see. considering how one-sided the opening was uh the all force players definitely are holding it down yeah okay oh he's still protected from the evade which is nice oh no he didn't have evade oh, no. oh never mind Ooh. never mind this is might be uh, might be it they'll start at six but that's still not going to be enough to build off of over here now especially since they It'll both reboot turn. and like you said we we see most of the real ones i doubt even if he calls out another old force and drops a jury I'll see that being yeah. Good. I mean, he's got a guy in raising, so that's okay. He'll start at six, so he should be able to build into old force, but he'll pass turn on that. Um, yeah, no, which is fine, because arenas will all give him memory, right? Uh, if he has the level five, so he could suspend himself, then yeah. Now, how many of those level fives? I saw one get hit in security, so... Oh, he's got it. Oh, okay. he got it. He's got Okay.
This sucks. Okay, there's another level five. And there's the ice wall. Damn, he got through his whole deck. Oh boy. Three swings coming next turn, though. And no Leo Mon. If he could somehow manage to put into one and hope that he doesn't have uh Nah, no, he scooped oh, it. Oh he scooped it up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that 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 seemed like more of a Yeah, man. Greymon. I don't know. He was fighting back, but that opening was that, that was a tremendous opening. I mean the Hades force really uh taking two checks and then just instantly removing those cards that came out of security was very strong. Yeah, that that was literally it. And then three layers of protection. You couldn't build a better stack. That stack remained the whole entire game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that that was that was just disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. But this honestly shows the power of Greymon, you know, that's really what it is. It is, and I don't know if uh, if you saw about BT thirteen box stoppers are gonna be the the new ace war Greymon, so Really? Maybe, oh that's interesting. Maybe it's gonna be the ace Garuru and uh War Greymon, so Oh that's we might interesting. see them a little earlier in our meta over here. Which is fine. I mean I don't know like what are you hitting Greymon at this point to like just tell it to calm down, right? Because... This is the thing, right? And this is—I think I forgot who I was talking to over the weekend about this. Japan is hitting their three-year anniversary with this game, right? So that's a very pivotal point of any like IP or any business and stuff like that. So they're going to release more Greymon and more Gurumon, right? So it's right. like if I'm new to this game and I've never played it, and then I see that my favorite Digimon's in the game, but he sucks. Like he's not going to get people to want to play the game, you know? So it's also like a business strategy in a way too. I totally understand that. Um... I do think, and I, it could just be my own bias, but I just feel like the X antibody line is only serving Raymon at this point, so they should just try to phase it out in a way, because no other deck really benefits from X antibody as much as Raymon. Well, that and Raymon, um, that's it. Those are the only decks that are going to constantly benefit those, because they're the ones who constantly get support, right? Because like even like a good right. example of them not being used a lot. So Alphamon's X antibody lines are going to get used a lot more because Alphamon's actually going to be like a pretty decent deck next set. But the only deck that deck beats is what I feel is Shine Greymon. That's it. But I think it loses to everything else. For sure. So that's that's the issue with that deck, right? But the X antibody cards are very powerful in that deck, right? They let you get a memory. They destroy stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, you get inherent protection from the ultimates and stuff like that. So, which that's great, right? But, like, the issue with Garumon and Greymon is that they get massive protection, right? Because it's like, you can strip every line. Because if it just said, hey, just strip this card and another card of its same level, then they'd be fine, you know? Right. Okay, so is he starting off strong? Oh, he got the ex ante body hit. Yeah, uh, the old horse opted to go first this time. We'll see if that actually uh, helps control, you know, the momentum a bit. Uh, let's find out. You get an X antibody out already. Mm. Okay. That's oh, a good sign for all four already. A flawed stack. That's interesting. Interesting. And he came out of raising earlier. I think that's really risky. I think that's super risky, especially since he's got the... Well, the cool boy won't matter right now, but... This is really risky because if he gets the BT4... Uh, sorry, BT8... Um, Metal Greymon, he's just going to DJ you all the Vmon and kill the rookie. That feels right. a little but risky. He's also baiting out an uh, underdeveloped stack. That is also yeah. true, yeah. Okay, so no, this is this is good. Can he get to the Vmon? He might be missing pieces too, that's what sucks. So let's see. Boom, rookie. The good rookie, right? The Vmon. Building another. You could also swing with Leomon to potentially die, get another draw, and gain some memory to extend his turn a bit since he, he lacks the tamer. Yeah, but with the way this game is looking, it could literally be. Um... Yeah, I mean, he's poised to do something next turn with that tie tamer now. He's starting at three. Yeah, but let's see if it's an incomplete stack. Because if it's an incomplete stack, oh god, we just saw what he drew too. Oh, interesting. 
Oh no, he, yeah, he's dumping this. I would I would let it go through and I would kill it on the next Absolutely. turn. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, okay, it didn't die. I'm four, I'm four for old force. This is interesting. So he's missing the level five. So does he play an Agumon? Because if he plays an Agumon and then goes into a champion, then that's fine. The old force can gladly deal with that. Right. Because what I would do on my turn, let's say if he does this, he does. Uh, the problem is he he may not have enough memory, so he ha he'll have to cave the Leomon. Oh, this is oh, this is his break right here. It looks like he's missing rookies as well. So this is what I would do. I would slam if I have the level five. I would slam the level five, the Leomon into the Greymon, get the two memory, go into the level four. Oh, they both gain memory. That's good. Or did only one gain memory? Uh, no, they, I believe Give it a thousand. The v -mon this is this is what he should do. Can you? Uh, I can't remember what the tie does. Can you give the Vmon? Oh, he's doing it right. Can, yeah, give it a thousand. Yep, he can. He's gonna get rid of that stack. No, but it's also also so he can uh, prop the the inheritable. Oh yes, that's the Gabu underneath. Yeah, the go the EX one Gabu. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's actually not Very a nice. bad. Uh, he picked up some good tamers off of that. We saw the Davis come in. But it may not matter because the problem is. Like, now he's got... Does he whiff the level 5 again? That's the question. Oh, he drew another ex-antibody. Okay. This is very interesting, though, because, like... It's crazy how this deck went from having the perfect stack to just taking control of the entire game to just drawing all champions. That's the story of these stack decks, man. Yeah. Yeah. He has a block for now. Which is... I don't think that matters I mean, to him. It doesn't really matter. If he sees all four set, that's going to hit. Oh, he's going to swing over the V-Mon. Yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, I would I would hit the Leomon. I would let him kill the Leomon. Yeah, I would definitely block it. There you go. Yep. You get your draw and you swing it over. And now you're going to three. So, yep, that's what I would do. Yeah. Worth it. All right, so this is going to be very good right now. This is going to be a very, swing very good. Over. It may not seem worth it, but I'd swing over that Greymon, man. Leave him with nothing. Absolutely. On on God's Green Earth. So I could prop the Gobblemon effect again. That's what I would do. Exactly. Because he has no rookie in raising. Oh, no, baby. You got to get no. that. You no, he has full control of this game right now. You better kill that, that Greymon X. That would have been my first priority. I was never doing, you know... He hit two tamers. We're gonna ask for more. I saw all force go to the bottom, but maybe he has one in his. And all force X went to the bottom too. So just think of that. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Please get rid of the gray man. Sideways and swing over deck. <laughs> oh <laughs> come on! Because now he's gonna bounce to hand. So now that's another card he could possibly draw. You know. Okay, he's bouncing it to hand. Yeah, but it's like I don't know. I mean, he whiffed the rookie. I guess he gets two turns for free play. So. Because he's gonna get. I mean, bouncing it to him, even if he hard plays it again, it doesn't really hurt Lewis because he's he's passing turn to just hard to play a great monster. No, I know. I just don't want to give more resources to hand. But if he can get two all forces this turn, then carry on. You know, like for sure. Like if that's what he's going for, baby, go for it. Oh, that's sick. So he passed. Okay, so he couldn't even swing. Oh, if he wasn't gonna swing at I life. Would've, yeah, I would have swung over him. <laughs> Oh, what is he doing? Maybe he wants him to have a bigger hand so when he plays that red and blue tamer, he could possibly get more memory. No, did he get it? I don't know if he got it. I mean, this this board state is abysmal, man. I don't think... This oh, is gonna sick. It's going to yeah. get bounced next turn anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, it's that's sick. Board state. Uh, security might bail him, but then again, evade is a thing, so... I would always swing with the all force Vmon because if I'm gonna hit a Hades force, then you know. Right. Absolutely. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would have moved up the rookie. I'm wondering too. I wonder if that's an oversight. I would have moved up the rookie because there's nothing Greymon can do. I'm gonna bounce him back, and now I'm gonna have all these, you know. Is it Hades force? See, uh, Greymon fitting Death X in. He better... Why did he not buff it up from the tie so it could be bigger than 13? I don't like this, because if he hits a Gaiomon or a Mega... Maybe he wants to keep the draw. Oh, he hit the Golden Boy. Okay. Oh, are we going to see the DP boost? 
Get the DP boost? Thank. DP boost. I feel like you should have done it the first time, but okay. <laughs> okay, now he can't. Now he dies to nothing in security unless he's playing Omni. Unless now, he's right? playing the Omnis, right? Because all force is 12, right? Because he's a four calls. So he's he starts 12. at 12, so right now he's swinging at 14. Oh, does he drop the Leomon too? That's beast. Oh my god, he should have moved up the rookie. <laughs> Oh, there's another champion. So all he had was level fours in hand and security. Oh god. This is clearly looking like all forces game. It's crazy. We saw two very polarized matchups, man. Yeah, this is wicked. This is how the game is sometimes. Oh, yeah, there's the dual team. Decks is really a, really a race to who sees their pieces first. Yeah. Swing. Yep, that's the ultimate he was looking for. Does he have Lalamon? I swear, if he needed to push up that rookie to win this turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he did oh, ran. Yeah, he got it. He got it. He could have <laughs> ran out of memory because if that would have been an ex antibody, he would have lost that. He would have passed turn. Right, right. Oh, but they're in the moment, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes but, you see, you see uh, your board stay, and you just, you know, you just want to get going. You begin to push up that rookie. I don't know. I'm, I'm petty. If I see that you're missing a rookie, I'm throwing everything <laughs> on my board. Let's see what this game three looks like, man. Because uh, these have been such wild matchups. They've been uh, Graymon dominated game one, and in game two, Graymon just couldn't even play the game. Yeah, that's really what it is. So now, um, that's the power of Graymon, right? That, that's a very this this is a very good example of how powerful Graymon can be and how double edged it can be. I can't remember. Uh, the Greymon player even mulliganed that hand. I gotta, I gotta pay more attention this time. Cause I wonder if he decided to keep that hand he saw earlier. Expecting. Well, he started with a tie, a rookie, and a champion, and a cool boy. Right. He probably thought he would find the rest, but. Yeah, I mean that's not a bad hand to start with, I think. But you Absolutely never know. Not. Like that's the problem with the game, right? Like you'd be like, oh, I'm not gonna mulligan. When you desperately needed to, right? Yeah, you're playing a build 'em up deck, and you see a level three, four, you're probably keeping. Yeah, especially with your tamers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to risk it. Good decision. I think going first is huge in this matchup, honestly. I, I think, honestly, the Greymon, it's about does he get the Metal Greymon effects off. The Yeah, I'm uh, sorry, the Greymon X effects off. I think that's what this matchup matters. Because it doesn't matter how powerful his guys are. If they're not protected from that stuff, then they're just going to eat shit. For sure. So I think this is going to be this is going to be the deciding factor if he can get that guy. Yeah, that that protection, that three layer protection, game one. Was... All right, so he hit the rookie, which is good. Yeah. I think it's weird. I think going first or second is optional up to both these decks because they're so tamer heavy. Okay, so he's opting to. Play it out, study ball. If he wants to. Uh, uh, ooh, those are not cards you wanted to. You yeah, you wanted a, to, yeah. Now the, the to the bottom. Now I'm wondering how many he plays in this list. I I can't imagine anybody playing more than two, honestly. Yeah, I, I feel like one has been kind of the spot these days, especially moving forward. I think one, one is format. right because blue flare cross and even hunters have taken a backseat. You know. Especially because you hit the Black War Greymon, so it's like it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, this is a good spot then. Okay, so does he hit the champion? Okay, he hits the X-Antibody, so... This is the question. Does he hit the champion? He hits Alterius mode. Oh, oh the... There's the second Hades. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, so we, boy. I don't think we're seeing another Hades this game. No, 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 no. This is... You know what that means to me? Honestly, if I see two, that's free range to start throwing all your tamers. For sure. All right, he's dead. If this Agumon dies, this is great because then he has to play something else. Does he have the level four? I feel like he pushed out early because he doesn't have. The I don't level. think he does either. Yeah, he doesn't have the level four. This is Lewis's opportunity to. Uh, what would you do here? Do you just go straight up to the four or five? I will start building in the back. Honestly, if I have him, just build him. Interesting. Okay, he moved him up. Okay, he brings it out. So he's probably gonna drop a searcher right now. Oh no, we're just gonna see the Leo Mon come up. Oh, does that card let you play a tamer? Is that what it is? So, no, what it is, is when you play a Tamer, you get a draw off of the Vidramon. 
What? It's Vidramon. Vidramon's ability is when you play a tamer from hand, he gets you to one draw out of your deck. Oh, okay, once per turn, you may draw. Oh, so he might have needed that too. Oh, and this one gives you one memory. I see. Okay. Did he? Oh, sorry. What did he just whiff? Oh, he's. Oh, he missed the Greymon again. He has something in the back, though. So he is getting cycled, so it's still early in the game. He could potentially find that Greymon and still be in the game, but. I guess no it didn't remove the tamers this time. It's going to be a little different than game one. I think what also is going to hurt right now is the fact that if, if Lewis has his guys, then. Sorry, if the All Force guy has his deck, then. What did he just add on for that? He had X Antibody and what? He found a, he found a Greymon and the X Antibody. Oh, okay, okay. So then we know he has the ultimates in his hand, the little fives. So. I will drop that Greymon in the back. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter because... which one. For sure. Those guys up front are probably on a timer. I would probably just swim out with them. No, he's going up. Ooh. Okay. Oh, because he wants to play and the tie. He wants to drop the tie. Yeah. Oh, he got the Metal Greymon in the back. So, yeah, okay. Here's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. That Greymon can be bounced if he goes into Old Force this turn. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. I'm also not sure why he gave the 2000 to the Greymon and then the one, the blocker to the Agumon. I'm not sure what was happening there. I guess he wants to bait it so that the Agumon gets uh, bounced or the Greymon gets bounced. So that. I guess he figures he wants them to bounce the Greymon, right? Bounce the Greymon. And then Agumon will at least protect him from one. Yeah, the Agumon will be exactly. I don't know if he wants to bait. The Greymon to be bouncing how hard he was digging for that Greymon. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't think it changes too much, right? I would have just swung. I don't know why he did all that. I don't agree with this. I think I would have just swung with the Agumons. That's what I said. Those, I would have built in the back because we knew the old horse had the potential to come out. Um, and now that Greymon's getting bounced to hand. And that's an egg and two rookies gone. And then that's a rookie back there and a, two rookies up here. And he dropped, if I remember correctly, he bottom decked two rookies. So what is that? That's eight rookies bottom deck, nine? Actually, playing out the Greymon wasn't a bad idea because he gets bounced to hand. So he still has the Greymon. He was able to get that tie, essentially, for... I don't know. I would have just swung with the two rookies to, to close out the game because if he can get the security check plus one Greymon and the raid Greymon, the, the raid war Greymon, he wins. I just think he, he wasted a turn in the sense that um, now he has to, like, you know, build up into that Greymon one more turn. Yeah, so I don't know. It's And we got an old force staring him down right now, and we know that security is pretty free since we saw the two Hades go. That's also true, yeah. Well, for all force, it's never free, right? Because if you can't make him over 13 or give him jamming. This is true. Yeah, so. And we don't see the v tamer tie just yet, so. So then, they're both in a very interesting spot. Lewis is definitely in a power position, but, uh, well, the all force player is definitely in a power position, but the problem with him is that this is Greymon. It is Greymon. Um, the comeback factor is there. Yeah. But... As the old force player, I would feel a bit more comfortable seeing that uh, the Hades have been removed. And he, Absolutely. At the end of the day, he's still facing now two rookies. So whatever he does this turn, I don't think is going to be... Uh... No, he'll have to pass. His best move, honestly, yeah, it won't matter, pass right? He's at a level five tops. Maybe he has, like, I doubt it. We haven't seen it yet, but maybe he has the BT, uh, BT-8 Metal Greymon and he could be Digivolve Old Force, but that's not that impactful either, to be honest. No, but the interesting part about it, I saw during Game 1 that he drew Gravity Crush. So, oh, okay. that may yeah, change. change things yeah. Things. So that's also something to think about, too. Okay. And this is Greymon. Okay. He's got the Greymon there. That's fine. If the All Force player can just OTK next turn, then, then this, none of this matters. Yeah, the, the potential is definitely there. Because currently on board, he'll have three checks, and then depending how many three stands he gets. Okay, he's building a line with protection in the back. Was so that what I he was waiting for? If player, I would feel like I have to close things out, if possible. He next. has to. Yeah, he has to close them out right now. Yeah, go to three. Yeah, and, I mean, it's definitely possible. It's... The Gaiomon could come out. Hmm. You saw the gravity crush. He just drew it. Yep, yep, yep. He 
Yeah. So, so he doesn't close this out. I think uh, I think Greymon's going to take over. If he doesn't have com- to be honest with you, if if the all force player doesn't have confidence that he can close the game out, I would leave the V Mon back there. I start building a second. Yeah, sure. that's what I would definitely do, and just play a bunch of tamers, you know, to make sure that the V Mon will be bigger. Because whatever comes out next turn for the Greymon is going to be huge. Is he going to drop another Vino? Let's see. No, it's another Jerry. Another Jerry. Oh, another okay. Leomon. Does he get another Leomon? Because that'll help if he can draw the, the drop the other Leomon. Cause that's four memory gone, you know. I'm sorry. That's yeah. It's four memory off the board. Uh. No, he didn't drop the Jerry. I'm sorry. He didn't drop the Leomon. So I guess it's fine. Did he trash that uh, that Agumon instead of taking it to him? Uh, no, it was the Agu X. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was Ag. So Agumon then Agu X. Copy, copy. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. He might be fishing for more memory. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, because then he can. Oh, because the interesting part, he can he can hybrid drop him out. Tamers. He could hybrid out, or he could drop Tamers and unsuspend his uh, old force further. Yeah. Oh, he's going to do the Lanamon. Yeah, oh. this is going to give him a draw in. This might be better, because he's also going to get a draw. Yeah. Oh, and he's going to oh, grab a Tamer. Oh, sick. Sick. Oh, he gets... Oh, but he can't draw... Damn, that's right. It doesn't get the Tamer. I got excited when I saw the all force... Uh, doesn't matter. Jamming. Doesn't matter. He got jamming. Yep. Does all force just win here? Uh, does he have two two ties he can drop? He has one. There's the one. There's the one. Oh, does he close the game out? What are we looking at here? Tie? Do you got the tie for game? Oh, that's there so sick. Oh, what a dramatic Oh, my God. That's so one. sick. Yeah, no. If he yeah, didn't finish it this I game. I 100% believe he would have had the clap back. Oh, that's such a good way to end the game. Oh, my God. Phenomenal finish. He completely... If you watch game one and you see game three... Yeah. Huge props to the old force players for staying composed after that kind of game. That was good. That was very good. That